Andreas, uh, Chuck, he has Dyn Audio both at home and in his car. Uh, he started wondering if uh, there, were, there was actually a difference between the drivers in his uh, loudspeakers at home mm -hmm. and the drivers in his car. Is there? The simple answer is yes and no. Um, no, because from, from the outside they look the same. Mm -hmm. We're using the same material for the cone and the surround, but what's beneath the cone is different uh, for the drivers that goes into to a car. Yeah. Um, we have to be able to withstand the environment in a car, uh, high temperature, yeah. uh, high humidity, low temperature, uh, and we need to change some of the glues and some of the materials being used in order to be able to withstand mm. these environments. But I guess that when we put drive, uh, large speaker drivers in a car, it's also about uh, the different safety requirements that you have to live up to. That's right. Because the cars are, you can get in a crash in a car that's difficult at home. Sure. Uh, at least with a large speaker. Sure. Um, so, what kind of requirements do we have to live up to? For Volkswagen, our huge customer in Germany, we are producing a different basket made out of plastic and we have reduced the weight of the magnet system. Um, we have to fulfill a lot of requirements. Uh, we are doing a lot of validation tests yeah. on these drivers. Uh, door slam test, for instance, um, in, in some uh, cases you have to be able to withstand 100,000 door slams. Okay. Um, and also when you're driving on, on rough surfaces, the driver should not fall apart, of course. Mm. Um, again, temperature, humidity. So we have, uh, we have developed drivers for that specific purpose. But in our aftermarket kits, which looks more like our home drivers, we have changed what is needed to change in order to withstand the environment in the car. Yeah. So I guess the simple answer, as you said. Yes and no. Yes and no. Yeah.